Hello again, fellow podcaster, and welcome back to Pod Theory. I am your host, Jason Sircone, and today we're going to talk about how to interview a celebrity or VIP. Now, today's message is going to be short and sweet, and I'm taking a minute to talk about this because I've seen the subject come up a handful of times in various podcasting groups that I'm a part of. And the gist of the posts that I see tell the story that the producer slash host slash creator of a podcast has landed a pretty big guest, a celebrity or an athlete or a VIP of some sort, and they're super nervous about doing the interview and screwing it all up. First off, if you've landed a VIP or a celebrity on your podcast, congratulations. That means they feel your show is worth some of their time. That's a big deal. Now, it's time to get off cloud nine and bring yourself back to the real world. Getting this person to agree to join your show was the hardest part. Now, you just need to focus and remember they're a human being too. Certainly, they've accomplished a lot in their life, but they just want to be treated like a normal person. Here's an example that has nothing to do with podcasting, but I'm going to tell you the story anyway. And this didn't happen to me, but it happened to one of my best friends. We live in Pittsburgh, and he was out to dinner one night with his family. At a table across the way was Troy Polamalu, one of the most popular Pittsburgh Steelers players of all time, and easily the most recognizable thanks to the very healthy mane of hair that he sports. Troy and his wife were eating dinner and naturally getting looks of affection from Steeler fans all over the restaurant. But in this instance, no one was coming up to Troy and asking for autographs or pictures while he ate. They just let him be and admired him from a distance. When Troy and his wife were finished with their dinner, he stood up and thanked everyone for letting him just enjoy his meal and his time with his wife. And because everyone treated him like a normal person, this was my words, not his, he paid every person's check that was in the restaurant that night. The point is this. Yes, you've got a very important person on the other microphone with you. And that person will be happy to converse with you if you aren't stargazing but rather looking to have a quality conversation with just another person you've met. So how can you be ready for this interview? Well, one tip is to do research and dig deeper than the normal run-of-the-mill questions they most likely get asked every single time they do an interview. If it's an actor, for example, you don't need to ask them how they got their start in acting. You're not uncovering anything new, and that info is a matter of public record. Instead, Find out what they're passionate about. What causes do they believe in? What hobbies do they participate in? What are some commonalities between you and that VIP? Find some common ground and let the conversation flow from there. Here's another way to look at it. Always remember, this is your show. I don't care if you have five listeners, a hundred listeners, or a million listeners. Audience size is irrelevant. Your focus needs to be on the fact that you run the show. You call the shots. You control the conversation. This should be your approach regardless of who you're interviewing, and most likely it is. You're just in a state of mind that you need to change things up because of who you're interviewing. You don't. Don't get starstruck and remember what you want to accomplish with your show. If you want to gush over your VIP interviewee after the mics are turned off, have at it. But take care of your business first. Look, I don't have a ton of experience interviewing celebrities or VIPs. Easily, the biggest name I ever interviewed was Claudio Sanchez, the lead singer of the band Coheed and Cambria. There were a few of us on that particular podcast, and I still remember like yesterday when we came in the room where Claudio was sitting and waiting, there was this moment of silence where no one really knew what to do. I knew another second of this would make us look like we had no idea what we were doing. So I immediately reached across the table, shook Claudio's hand and introduced myself, and gave him a rundown of what would be happening with our interview. And everything went great. We had an awesome conversation, and the show later that night kicked total ass. That's a story for another day. Always keep in mind that we are all people. No matter who we are, where we've been, or what we've accomplished, the one thing we all want is respect. If you show respect to your big-name guest, your interview is going to go much smoother. And if you do your research and come to your interview incredibly prepared and remember that it's your show and you control the flow, your interview will be one for the ages. 
And that brings episode 82 of Pod Theory to its conclusion. Did you like today's content? Would you like to discuss this or any aspects of podcasting with me further? I'm just a text or phone call away. Hit me up at 412-965-8428 and let's chat podcasting. Good talk. I'll see you back here tomorrow. This has been Jason Sircone on Pod Theory.